She totally lost it. Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Your boy Al is here with my dear friend Nokoten episode 12 review so let's go hunting. At first we see Kumatori discover a deer den and faints. The narrator informs the audience that a massive deer storm is about to hit Hino City, the setting of the series. Come on narrator-san, no one's gonna fall for such trashy bait in the last episode, so up your game a bit. Nokoten informs Koshi, Anko, and bashing that assassins from Deer's Den are coming to Hino City soon, a message she received from Kumatori via Twitter. When Koshi asks about last week's cliffhanger, Nokoten dismisses it. Anko then shares information about Deer's Den, revealing it's a secret organization that specializes in training specific types of deer. Nokoten admits she's from Deer's Den but left to pursue important things. She explains that her pursuers tracked her down by watching the anime they're all in. Bruh, I thought that cliffhanger was gonna lead to a gag at least, but you guys completely wrote it off. Also Nokoten, you left the deer's deb, because of some deer crackers right? Nokoten claims the assassins want to capture her because she's considered a traitor to deer's den Kyun, one of the assassins, arrives at the deer club. Anko explains Kyun's background to the audience. Nokoden challenges Kyun to a duel, which turns into a dance competition. If Kyun wins, Nokoden must return to Deer's Den, but if Nokoden wins, she'll get a year's supply of deer crackers. They dance, and Tsunoda is asked to judge, choosing Kyun as the winner. Nokoden yells at Tsunoda for the decision. Men in deer masks arrive, putting Nokoden in a cage. Koshi initially considers letting her go, but Ukai reminds her that if Nokoden leaves, the deer club will be disbanded, and Koshi would need to repay the club's funds. Koshi then challenges Kyun to a dance duel, and Tsunoda declares it a draw. Nokoden, dressed as a flower arrangement sensei, votes for Kyun and gives her a deer cracker. Holy hell Koshi, when did you become so cruel, you are telling me you love the deer club more than your deer? By the way, Nokoden, you shouldn't complain after such a garbage performance. A new group of assassins, Chikamaru and Hana, arrives, making Nokoden nervous. Anko explains their background, revealing they are kids in costumes. Ukai switches the competition to a 2 vs 2 mind reading game with Koshi, Nokoden, Chikamaru, and Hana. Chikamaru and Hana successfully guess each other's thoughts, while Koshi questions the legitimacy of the game. When it's Koshi and Nokoden's turn, Nokoden reveals her answer, confusing Koshi, who admits she has no idea what Nokoden is thinking. Ukai declares Chikamaru and Hana the winners, and Deer's Den locks Nokoden up again. Niko and others step in to help Koshi and the Deer Club. The narrator explains why Niko wants to support them. Before Chiharu and Kinu face Chikamaru and Hana, Chikamaru receives an alert about a birthday. Anko explains they must celebrate an Ojika town child's birthday, causing Chikamaru and Hana to forfeit the competition to fulfill their birthday duties. Honestly speaking, I think most non-Japanese people like me would have a hard time finding some of these jokes funny, because they are from such niche Japanese cultures that it's kinda hard to relate to them. Basham arrives and gives Nokoden a letter from Kumatori, revealing that Deer's Den's top assassin, Sento, is coming soon. Nokoten and the others return to the Deer Club, where Koshi rereads Sento's letter, which asks Nokoten to meet at a local gym. Koshi vows to help Nokoten train for the duel. After training, the scene shifts to the gym. Nokoten enters first to cheers from the crowd, but Sento receives even louder applause when he appears. They fight, with Nokoten putting up a decent effort, but Sento's sumo style overwhelms her. After the first round, Nokoden and Koshi discuss strategy. In the second round, Nokoden pulls out antler nunchucks, which a judge allows despite being against the rules. A montage of rapid rounds follows. Before the final round, Nokoden and Koshi chat again. Nokoden uses her deer copter technique and throws antler bombs, but despite her efforts, Sento defeats her in the end. Nokoden, why did you bother to fight if you can't handle the pressure? Also when the hell did you become a bombing maniac? 
At the end we see that the judges interview Nokoten about her loss, as Sento doesn't speak. Nokoten says that both she and Sento put on a great show and considers them both winners. One judge loves her speech and declares them both as winners. Sento claps in agreement. As the crowd cheers, Nokoten strikes a victory pose with Koshi. Come down from your high dear Nokoten, you didn't really win. Also someone throw those fraud judges out. Overall the season finale wasn't as wacky and humorous as I was expecting it to be. I can say that this show started off really strong, and then it fell off, but it's still a decent show, and one can enjoy it without thinking about anything, and enjoy some goofy braindead humor for what it's worth. By the way, I doubt we will be getting a season 2 anytime soon, because the hype for this anime kinda died down. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.